hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop the next update on bridal material stay tuned on today's episode mira walks to amar amar says he was searching for her since where was she she says to her god he says he didn't search her in the temple mira says she wants to talk to him about something he says he wants to finish arranging the function then they can talk peacefully sonny warns satin and his wife that if they try to act smart he would slit their son's throat Vivan walks in and asks what happened sonny says they lost his younger brother a few years ago but his parents cry remembering him even now satin says he is a father and gets emotional sonny tightly holds his hand and says he has to control himself and says he would get food for him and mommy Vivan consoles them and walks away, then sees their sad face and thinks something is wrong. He needs to find out. Pinky insists Lally to let her eat sweet. Lally snatches plates. Sweetie enters with mansion papers and asks to get Vivan sign on them. Mira walks in and asks to note them whatever they want that Vivan will give them all. Pinky taunts her that she said she cannot get Vivan in his life, but she got engaged to Vivan. Mira says whatever Pinky tries, she cannot as Vivan is already has and will not marry Pinky. Vivan walks, speaking over phone and finds Locket on the floor and asks how they can leave it here like this. Mira goes to a man, massages his head. Amar says he has migraine and his daughter's one touch kills it. Mira says she wants to tell him something. Amar hears Sonny shouting in pain and rushes out. Sonny says he did not tie lace and fall down. Ama helps him and takes him towards the room. Sonny thinks Mira cannot succeed, however, she tries. Vivan goes to Terrace when Mira calls him. Mira says, I love you. He asks if she called him here to tell him this. She says yes and asks why he's not reacting if he does not love her. She holds him and says, I. He says, I love the moon. It's so beautiful. Mira feels sad. Vivan says it is beautiful as he sees it with her. Her companion makes everything beautiful around him. She feels happy. He asks if she spoke to her father. She says she went to speak to Papaji, but Sonny fell down. Vivan says something is wrong and explains the whole locket incident and says something is wrong with Sonny. Mira says Sonny is helping them so much. Vivan says Sonny was fighting with his parents. Mira says Punjabi children behavior, behave with their parents similarly. Even she does. He says she and Sonny are similar. Why don't she marry Sonny? Even her father will be happy. She says she loves someone else who expresses love in a weird way. He says he will express again and holds her emotionally. They get romantic and hug each other. Someone watches them. Pinky beats plates and gather family. Ama asks what she's doing. Pinky says she got a special news for him that she saw Mira and Vivan on the terrace. Vivan told Mira to move ahead in life, but Mira does not want to and hugged Vivan. If Vivan had not backed off, Mira would have kissed him. Mira does not follow her father's promise. Mira says Pinky is lying. Pinky asks to ask her if she is not meeting Vivan repeatedly. Ama asks Mira if she broke her promise. Vivan says Pinky is lying. If he and Mira go on terrace at the same time, is it a sin? Lali asks if Pinky is lying. Vivan says Pinky is telling half truth. It was dark on the terrace and Mira slipped. He held her. Pinky twisted situation and created a drama. Dolly scolds Pinky to stop defaming her daughter. Ama says he will end this drama and announced that he would get Mira and Sonny married tomorrow itself and Vivan and Pinky day after tomorrow. He says his decision is final and asks the family to make arrangements. Everyone walk away. Mira and Vivan sadly walk to their rooms. Mira sits sadly in her room. Vivan walks in and consoles her. He pampers her and says they have to find out the secrets behind Locket. They hide seeing Satinda's wife walking into the kitchen and talking. Puja item on Tali crying. Vivan then acting as passer. A passerby drops Locket in front of a man and says his locket fell open. Fell. He opens it and says it's Sonny's mother's locket. And this is Sonny's brother's picture. A man looks at the photo carefully and says, as far as he remembers, Satinda has only one son, Sonny. Vivan and Mira are shocked to hear that. Mira says she heard Auntie praying for her son. Vivan says, what if the man in the locket is their son and the other one is an imposter? 
they walk outside, sat in that room and hear their conversation. Satinda's wife says her puja for her son's safety is complete, that nothing will happen to their son. Satinda says they are spoiling Vivan and Mira's life for their son. The wife says their son is an imposter. Son is quip. They are helpless. Vivan and Mira are shocked to hear this. Imposter Sonny walks towards room whistling. Vivan and Mira hides and hears Satinda and his wife's conversation. They are shocked to learn that Sonny is an imposter and has kidnapped Satinda's real son. Sonny walks in holding hammer and frightens them. They plead to show their son's face as they have arranged Puja for him. Imposter Sonny laughs and leaves. Mira and Vivan hide. Dolly confronts Amma that every father does not have right to cry. Amma asks what she wants to say. She says if she forces Mira to marry Sonny, she will break their relation. And she would be only Mira's mother, not a man's wife. Vivan says Imposter Son is sleeping and silently steals his phone. He walks to Mira and opens mobile but does not find any picture in it. His goon calls him. Vivan messages them that he cannot talk right now. They reply that Sonny is vomiting blood. Vivan replies to take Sonny to City Hospital and tells Mira that he would go there. Mira says whatever happens, she would be only his wife. He promises and leaves. Mira gets tensed when he does not return after three hours and calls him. He is standing outside City Hospital informs her that Goons did not bring Sonny yet. She says she has a plan and explains him in details. Goons surrounds him showing knives. Amma walks to Mira and starts his emotional drama. Mira says she wants to tell him something and says Vivan. Amma says he wants to get her married to Sonny tomorrow and will be very happy. Mira thinks she will marry only Vivan. Wedding arrangement starts. Pinky asks Lali if she will marry Vivan for sure or not. Lali asks not to worry as once Mira gets married to Sonny, all her problems are, are solved. He shows gun to imposter Sonny and wants to accept the truth. Amma takes care of arrangement and asks Dolly to bring Sonny to Mandap while he brings Mira. He goes to Mira's room and sees her ready in bridal dress with color ring in her hand. He says he is very happy today. Vivan walks to Sonny and reveals that he knows that he is fake Sonny and says he got clear with Locket and found the whole truth. Sonny acts as a friend and snatches gun and laughs that it does not it does not have bullets. He says he is way ahead of him and saw him and Mira outside sat in that room. The argument starts. Vivan asks what he wants. Sonny says he wants to take revenge from Vivan. Vivan asks what he did to him. Sonny reveals that he is Vivan's stepbrother and is jealous of him as Vivan got all the fame and love. So he started game of destroying Vivan and he is behind Amaya's condition. Pami's bomb blast. He will marry Mira now and let Vivan suffer his whole life. Amma takes Mira too. Mandap. Pinky taunts Mira that she told Mira that she would wear Sonny's name, Kalerina, not Vivan's. Mira nervously waits for Vivan to come. Vivan tries to snatch gun from Sonny. Gun fires. Mira sees through the window. See Vivan bearing bullets and falling down. Mira eagerly waits for Vivan in temple. Sonny walks down wearing groom's dress and shows her if she backs off from marrying him, Vivan's life will be at risk. He lifts his hair and asks if he is looking handsome. Why don't she marry him? She then realizes it's her imagination and Vivan is under her. She gets happy. Their Ferraz starts. They find Ferraz happy. They finish Ferraz happily. Vivan applies Sindh on Viva Mira's forehead and then fixes Major Sutra in her neck. Pan says they are husband and wife now. Sonny tied in the room tries to free his hand and in vain, but at last frees himself and looking at his neck injury, fumes that Vivan gave this injury again that he would give such big injury to Vivan. After Vivan and Mira's wedding, they both are taken to a room. Nemo turns him to lock the door well from inside. Vivan locks room and walks to Mira and says that he was waiting for this day since long and holding her says let him watch her thoroughly. Mira fell, feels shy and says let her go. This is not the time for romance. Vivan says every time is perfect for romance and get romantic with her. They continue their romance when the bell rings. Vivan opens the door. Sonny walks in, breaks bottle of Vivan's head. Vivan collapses. Mira gets worried for Vivan. Sonny shows his true self and laughs at Mira, kicking Vivan repeatedly. She pleads not to harm her Vivan. 
Sonny walks in wearing similar shawani and warns her to keep her mouth shut, else she would lose Vivan. Lali walks in with sweet and offers it to Groom. Sonny lifts his Sarah and asks to feed it to Mira first. She says she's so lucky to have such a good damad. Who keeps wife first? She feeds Mira first. Sonny feeds her sweet forcefully and smeg. Lali walks away. Alright guys, thank you for watching today's update on bridal material. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.